Usually giant sticky balls aren't something to cheer about, but this title throws that social norm out the window. Jen here, and today I'm rolling with a review of We Love Katamari. Katamari was released by Namco over the course of 2005 and 2006 for the PlayStation 2, making it the second in the Katamari series. In We Love Katamari, you return as the adorable prince, and this time you're looking to fulfill the wishes of your fanbase. I enjoyed how this story broke the fourth wall of gaming, which usually happens unsuccessfully more often than not. The outright acknowledgement of the original Katamari's success with this storyline is endearing and directly conveys gratitude to the fans. The King of All Cosmos is still as odd as usual, but get ready because this game contains his origin story. Even if I hated the first Katamari, which I didn't, I needed the answers that this game provides. The mechanics are the same. Push the ball around using the dual analog sticks, roll over stuff that sticks to your Katamari, and make your ball huge! It's a simple design concept, but one that is accessible to a wide audience. Games like this and Little Big Planet facilitate an easy intro to gaming for new and unexperienced players, which is a design angle that I love to no end. If you didn't play the first Katamari, the point was to restore the constellations, which were destroyed by the King of All Cosmos during a drinking binge. Oh man, I love this series. Sorry, so anyway, Constellation data can be pulled from the first Katamari save game, placing the stars that you created into We Love Katamari Sky. As you run around making new planets for your fans, you can enjoy all the hard work you put into the previous Katamari. When I look at the reception of the original Katamari Damacy, it might be easy to step back and say, good enough, but Namco, much to my pleasure, didn't phone this one in. We Love Katamari came to bat with new gameplay additions that make this game different and worthy of collecting. It isn't just a set of new, and super cool, levels to play through. There are new objectives and new modes of gameplay, all in the name of keeping things interesting. For me, the monetary objectives were the most gratifying. It makes me want to roll a masking tape ball around my living room and try to sell it to some random man on the street. Getting a second player offers the option of head-to-head -head or the shiny new co-op mode. Co-op is what I would consider a no-brainer addition, but one that may have been easily overlooked while basking in the success of the original. But just like in the new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, playing with a friend or significant other ends up being an exercise and not yelling at whoever you're playing with. We Love Katamari is just another one of those amazingly fun games. It's wonderful in its simplicity and a game you can pick up and play with little to no gaming experience. The game is most definitely silly, but if you take gaming too seriously, that can sometimes sap the fun out of the overall experience. So get this game and take a chance with giant balls and boys prancing around in dresses. Okay.